Hi everyone, this is your host, Teresa. Many blessings to you. We hope you find yourself well and thank you for joining us today. Please, share these videos with your family and friends. Also, you can enjoy us on our Alpha and Omega Prayers Warriors channel, the link is in the description. This dream I'm going to read is about rapture dreams of angels are busy and preparing to blow the trumpet. It says, Good day brothers and sisters. There's something that's been sitting in my heart for quite some time, and the Lord keeps getting into my heart about testifying about this dream I had some time last year, and only now do I realize that it has something to do with this imminent harvest of souls. The dream started like this. I was standing near the window with my brother, looking up at the sky, and I noticed that the sky was very blue, which was very unusual, and there was a sense of urgency. Then I saw a bright frame glittering with rainbow colors, and in that were smaller frames inside, and I noticed that they were angels in those bright frames, and when I looked to my left, angels were starting to come down, and they all seemed to be busy preparing about to move. There was a sense of happiness and this feeling of urgency, as though they were about to blow the trumpet. I said to my brother, oh, let us pray, and as I knelt to pray, I woke up. Thank you, Jesus, for this dream. Thank you for loving us no matter who and what we are. Dream of the Wedding Garment Hello, I'm writing you to share the dream I had this morning. I was in my current apartment. The blinds on the windows were open, and the weather looked just as it did today, partly cloudy. I went into my closet and near the door was a cardboard moving box, which in my closet now I have a bin with clothes in that same spot. I asked my brother had he given my toys to my younger sisters. I was cleaning out my closet, and I looked in the box, and it was almost empty besides a few random things and one set of toys that reminded me of the ones I played with when I was a child. I came out of my closet to my living room, and I had several dresses still on hangers. I told someone I was getting rid of these, as I did not need or want them anymore. I laid the dress at the end of the couch. The dresses were really nice. When I looked back at the dresses, I remember saying something about I may want to keep some of them. I noticed a really pretty purple one, that I thought I might want. Then when I looked again, I saw a dress that wasn't there before. On top of all the dresses appeared a big white wedding gown. It was beautiful sparkling glass crystals cut out on the bust area, and the bottom was big fluffy like a Cinderella dress. The wedding gown was perfectly white. I picked the dress up and held it against my body, admiring it, and then I woke up. Knowing the rapture is imminent of the Bride of Christ. The third dream is titled glorious rapture of the bride and the attacks to pastors from those left behind. I also had a rapture dream. It was a normal day as everyone was busy with their daily activities, suddenly I looked up and saw the sky open wide, and huge bright light came through when I looked closer I saw Jesus Christ emanating the brightest light I've ever seen and behind him were millions of angels and heavenly beings their appearance got bigger and bigger as they were coming closer and closer when I took my eyes off them and looked on the earth I saw all men believers and non-believers kneeling, bowing down. I remember in the dream thinking oh this is the scripture. Every knee will bow and every tongue confess that Jesus is the Son of the living God. As I was looking at the people whose faces were faced down, they started lifting off the ground like gold dust that sparkled. They disappeared into Jesus and the angles. It was such a beautiful thing to see. The feeling was pure peace and joy I'd never experienced. As I waited for my turn to be lifted to Christ, the rapture ended. So many didn't go up with Christ when the sky closed up. The atmosphere returned to such dreadful heaviness and the panic that happened afterward. People were crying that they did not go to heaven. Some believers left behind went looking for their pastors to explain why they got left behind. I quickly asked the Holy Spirit, why did we not go with Christ? He said, those who spoke ill of my servants. Then I woke up, my heart beating so fast.
The following dream title is Warning dreams of the Lord's soon snatching away. I had these dreams in 2020. So I had two dreams on that night which seemed very real I was so scared when I woke up. The first dream started suddenly that we were all summoned to a hell-like place, a place much higher because it was like the whole city was there in multitudes. My sisters were walking with their friends but at a close distance from each other. Then suddenly sounds came from the sky above that were low. Then I saw a bright light from the sky followed by three trumpet sounds. All I could see was a bright light and then I heard a voice speak, the end is here. It was frightening and we ran back to my sisters and I told them we need to repent and we all prayed very quickly together and then the dream ended. Then in a second dream, we were in a hill-like place again with a multitude, a lot of people, and the sky was very dark and I saw black flags in the sky. They were just below the clouds with symbols of some nations and I saw faces of celebrities and world leaders too. In the middle was a big image with the head of a goat and we started running going up further on the hill where there was a small light because the ground behind us started breaking. It was like it was an earthquake happening and the dream ended. I woke up shaking because I have never had such a scary dream before. I believe that Jesus is my Lord and Savior and my life is His. The following dream is about Jesus will soon be looking for his children. Good morning, I want to share a vision with you and your staff that the Holy Spirit shared with me this morning on September 2021. As I was laying down in my bed, I was seeing two people from a distance the Father and Jesus walking along with the earth. Asking, where are my sons and daughters? Prior to this vision, I had another vision several weeks ago on August 2021. There are 10 stars in the sky. Jesus in a white robe and white horse. Australia 1, Asia 2, China 3, Europe 4, Sweden 5, Africa 6, Brazil 7, France 8, Spain 9, Canada, North America 10. 4. Horsemen with rings of fire and holding four keys. Burning ground with ash as they were galloping and I saw the chains of the demons of Tardis that were being opened and other demons were coming out of the ground of the earth. I dreamt early this morning after prayer about the gathering of the bride. I have to share this dream I had today. The night before I asked the Lord to show me another rapture dream, and he did the dream was this. I was walking with an old friend I asked how her mother was and as I turned around, I saw an older lady and her face looked very bright, glowing, she came to me and said, my daughters are getting married, and as I looked on in the distance I saw a bride standing wearing a white wedding dress, getting her dress ready. I asked her when the wedding was, she said, there was no date, but it's happening soon so be ready. Then she began walking away and I just stood there for a moment, considering her words, and then I continued to walk on then, the dream ended I woke up feeling thankful and confirmation that Jesus is coming soon. Would you mind sharing this to give saints hope and to get their house in order? God bless you all. The following dream is a dream of destruction coming following the rapture. Life would be meaningless without him. I had a dream yesterday and it was after I had asked God to reveal a dream to me. I had never had a dream like this before, but I told him that I would share it if he gave it to me. My dream. It was a very sunny day, a perfect beach day, and the place I saw resembled California. There were plazas and stores. It looked like it may have started off as a normal day as stores were open and functioning. People were dressed for sunny weather, but as I looked around, all I saw was chaos. Total chaos and panic all around. There were people running around like crazy. I remember seeing a young boy who looked to be about 11 or 12 years old running. He had blonde hair, was wearing gray shorts, and was frantically looking for someone. I could hear screaming. Lots of screams, lots of high-pitched screams of terror, and I could feel the panic. Chaos had taken place after the rapture. 
Something catastrophic had taken place, and it was pure chaos. People were frantically searching and running and trying to find help. People were getting out of their cars and panicking. It was all over America. Every state was affected. I could still hear the screams of women and men even now as I write this. Then my dream switched over to another part where I was standing outside and I saw a sentence under a large music sheet that was maybe 10x bigger than myself. It was positioned directly in front of me. On the side of me, I saw a large hand with a long white sleeve and it pointed to the music sheet and as I read the line that it pointed to, it read the ironclad will destroy its enemies. The next line beside it said, America will be destroyed. Then I felt a hard slam of the large hand on something as when a judge will take the gravel and slam hard as he or she made a verdict. I felt an emphasis on America. That the hand was getting ready to deal with America. The hand was God's hand. The writing was under musical notes as to when you have a music sheet. I did not know nor have I ever heard of cladding or ironclad, so I researched it online and I found out it was worships. An ironclad is a worship. Then my dream switched to another part. I was in the wilderness. I think it was a famine because it resembled the Great Depression. I felt like some time has passed. The earth was filled with sadness. Hope was running thin for many. There were a few people who were helping people learn how to survive. Everyone was camping outdoors and was dirty and cooking from a campfire that was in the middle of the camp. There was a middle-aged woman who was cooking something in a can that looked like it had been used to cook several times before. When I was able to take a closer look inside the can, I saw what may have been a small spoonful of mashed beans and she was mixing it over and over again in the can. As she cooked, there were several people, maybe six others, around her waiting eagerly to eat. I thought to myself that this was not enough to feed everyone. Then I woke up. I woke up and shared it with my family. I don't want to be left behind and I really don't want anyone to be left behind, especially my family. I don't want to miss the rapture. It will be a terrible time for anyone who misses the rapture. The panic, the chaos, and the feeling of hopelessness that I felt during my dream, there's nothing to compare. It will be the worst time in America. May we all be rapture ready, may more come to know and receive him before it's too late. Brothers and sisters, stay tuned, more videos are coming. Remember Jesus loves you and so do we. We are praying for you. See you soon and thank you for passing by.